scientific storm in America all through the late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it, and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to, like, Popular Science and Health. It was on the front cover of the magazine one day in, like, 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's this giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high and I went and showed it to everybody in the house and they laughed and they said look it says right here there's nothing to worry about it won't be here for another 50 years hey guess what that 50 years has came and gone and uh, this baby's out there in the sky they've been watching it I watched it and I can tell you this thing has got so much trash coming around it you know how we live in a solar system we've got nine planets and a big sun this right. thing has got seven planets. we're about to have a solar system come through the middle of our solar system this can't be good A new mystery tonight. Wildlife resource officers are trying to figure out why dozens of birds drop dead out of the sky at the same time in Spring Hill. It was an eerie scene, as you can see here, with more than 50 birds on the road. Rachel Irby sent us this video. Wildlife officers bagged some birds and took samples, but they say they've never seen anything like this. We'll continue to follow the latest developments on this story as we wait for results from testing. The president's office said on Wednesday, flash floods have killed at least 38 people in northwestern Tanzania after strong winds and hail battered villages. At least another 82 people have been injured in the floods that occurred in the Shinyanga region on Tuesday night. Gravel roads and houses were destroyed, the president's office said. Local media quoted police saying the floods had also destroyed food crops winds and heavy rain have resulted in the deaths of at least two people in Italy. The central region of Tuscany has been one of the worst areas affected. Local authorities have closed roads while in Lazio flooding and uprooted trees blocked routes into the capital. At Pasiris Beach, east of Singapore, and as you can see right behind me, a roll of rotting fish and other kinds of marine creatures which have been washed up here since last night. According to the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority of Singapore, the mass deaths of fish is the result of skill damage caused by plankton, microorganisms that you can find in seawater. People were killed after being crushed by a mudslide, which was triggered by heavy rainfall in Peru's vast Amazon region on Wednesday. Elsewhere in the country, mudslides and floods also destroyed several houses in the town of Tarapoto, while heavy rainfall flooded homes and streets in the town of Juliaca. Water pumps were used to help clear the streets, but the volume of water was just too much. The fifth consecutive day when the Kashmir Valley has been completely cut off from the rest of the country by road. Unpredictable rains and snowfall in the last few days have resulted in a number of landslides along the 300 kilometers of the Jammu Srinagar Highway. Bad weather has also been hampering work that has been ordered to clear the highway. Thousands of passengers are stuck in different locations. The rally is also now facing shortage of essentials. Hundreds of stranded people have uh, also protested at the Jammu bus stand. Dangerous and deadly storms on the roads and on the tarmac. NTSB on the scene here in New York after a Delta passenger jet making a landing could not stop on a very slick runway. Crashing through that fence, the nose of the plane breaking through, coming to a halt just feet from the icy water. This image taken by a passenger inside the plane looking out how close they came to that water. Moments later, the crew with fuel leaking getting passengers off the plane, coming down the wing, standing out in the snow. 
There were also deadly accidents today. Drivers stranded for miles, some up to 16 hours. The governor of Kentucky declared a state of emergency today. Parts of the Commonwealth got as much as two feet of snow, bringing highway traffic to a the stop. The line of stranded tractor trailers stretched down the highway for 40 miles. Icy roads caused several accidents that shut down two major highways in Kentucky, stranding more than 600 vehicles overnight. Heavy snow added to the misery on I-65, and traffic on I-24 was disrupted from the Illinois state line to the Tennessee border. Governor Steve Bashir has declared a state of emergency and deployed the National Guard to help stranded drivers. The stunning landscape of Patagonia set against the backdrop of smoke, the product of Argentina's worst ever forest fires, raging now for weeks. Teams of planes relay out to combat the fires which are remote but visible from local towns. They detect fires by satellite or simply follow the smoke spiraling up. Some 240 firefighters are working in small teams on the ground to stop the fire spread. Most have left their jobs and families to be here to help. Thousands of residents across Western Australia have reported a mystery fireball that has been spotted in the sky. Callers flooded Talkback Radio and social media to report their sightings, some of which were even caught on camera. A winter wonder washing ashore. Ice chunks as big as cars floating into Cape Cod Bay. The frozen blocks of snow looking more like icebergs as they make their way onto Wellfleet's beaches. The mounds of ice on the beach, they're just showing you how unusual this winter has been. It's hard to believe that we are in Wellfleet, Cape Cod, when you're standing on huge chunks of ice like this one. This piece of ice is about 10 feet wide and a few feet tall, and people around here are simply amazed. of you calling us, tweeting us, and Facebooking 7 News about this bright light seen streaking across the sky over Colorado early this morning. You can see it streaking across the sky. Now, most meteors last just three to five seconds. This was taken in Fort Collins around six this morning, and you can see it lasts much, much longer. Home video shows a ball of light streaking across the Fort Collins sky. Similar sightings poured in from Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming all reporting a bright fireball with a glowing green tail. These snowy shots were taken in Capricorta, Italy during the first week of March. Their impressive snow totals may rival a record snowfall from the 1920s. According to an Italian meteorology website, 100.8 inches of snow was measured in about an 18-hour period on March 5th. That's over five inches per hour for 18 straight hours. The sun has emitted its biggest solar flare this year so far, producing an X2.2 class flare and prompting a geomagnetic storm warning.
A monster is how the president described Cyclone Pam, and it destroyed most of what was in its way. Vanuatu is used to storms, but these homes weren't built to withstand winds of 200 miles an hour. The capital Port Villa has been torn apart. Storm surges several metres high have battered the coast, while houses and livelihoods have been lost. The Category 5 system, the most severe, had been expected to skirt Vanuatu, but shifted course, leaving populated areas directly in its path. Charities fear Cyclone Pam could be one of the worst natural disasters the region has ever endured. The Red Cross says that 130,000 people have been affected. That's about half the population. Many, many islanders, like this man and his children, now have nowhere to live. Power is still down across the archipelago. United Nations is now saying that 24 people died and about 3,300 are homeless. Now that lends more urgency to relief efforts which are underway. New Zealand and Australia are sending water, medicine, temporary shelter to those who are displaced. Cyclone Pam packed winds of almost 300 kilometers per hour and caused seas to surge as high as eight meters. There are concerns that the number of dead will rise as rescuers reach dozens of remote islands which are cut off from communication. Those who lived through the storm said it felt like the world was going to end. The cyclone Pam slammed into Vanuatu, leaving utter devastation. I'm speaking with you today with a heart that is so heavy. I stand to appeal on behalf of the government and people of Vanuatu to the global community to give a lending hand. Around 200,000 people live in this island nation and about 50% of them live on roughly a dollar, one US dollar a day. Take a look at this map. We're actually tracking four tropical cyclones across Australia and the southern Pacific Ocean. Here they are, Olwyn, Nathan, Bobby and Pam, of course, Pam being the one that we're focusing our attention on now at the moment. Residents of Costa Rica's capital, San Jose, shield their faces as the Torrealba volcano spews smoke and ash in its most powerful eruption in two decades. The punishing rains on the way, the dangerous landslide already. 30 million Americans under flood watches tonight, 13 states from Arkansas to New York, and now the saturated earth giving way. Take a look at this in West Virginia, Charleston here. Oh my God. Holy dude. Screams Holy there as the earth starts to cave, those power lines going down right in front of them. And take a closer look right at the edge of a major airport, just feet from the runway. Take a look from above, the whole side of the mountain sheared off right next to an airport runway. Plane still landing above the slide. Tonight, the airport on emergency power. The destruction below, this church, damaged beyond repair. 25 families beneath that cliff out of their homes tonight. Swollen rivers in Ohio sending ice flows downstream. Record rains this week swamping streets in Louisiana, even causing this wall to come down in an apartment complex in Shreveport. Luckily, no injuries. And in Yonkers, New York, 100 people still displaced from this senior citizens complex after a mudslide there Wednesday. A raging forest fire has forced scores of people to flee their homes in Chile. Around 4,500 people have been evacuated from the port city of Valparaiso and neighboring Vina del Mar. That number could almost quadruple if the blaze continues to burn out of control. The priority for emergency services is to keep the flames from spreading to populated areas of Valparaiso, a hilly city of mostly wooden houses. Residents in Salmon, Idaho witnessed an alarming scene when some 2,000 geese fell from the sky. 
Wildlife officials said the birds were migrating from Mexico to nesting grounds in Alaska when they died. The Idaho Department of Fish and Game found the bodies near water and believed the birds were sick with avian cholera because of the way they died. Although this might come as a shock to residents of the Northeast who are still digging themselves out from record amounts of snow, new data shows the winter of 2014 to 2015, defined as the period from December to February, was the warmest on record for Earth. Something fishy is happening on the beaches of the Outer Banks. Lots of fish, and a lot of you are talking about it. Ten of your side viewers emailed us dozens of pictures of dead fish along the shoreline. So what is going on? If we ever needed a reminder of where our tiny ball of rock we call Earth lives in our solar system, this is it. A solar eclipse, a phenomenon where the sun is completely obscured by the moon, occurred over Europe, casting many places into complete darkness. Australia's northern territories have been battered by cyclone Nathan. That's brought heavy rain, winds and gusts of more than 155 kilometres an hour. A dozen whales have died and there are fears for a remaining four after part of the power pushed up the shore. 